Uh, we're a brand new, almost a brand new NGO called Water Witness International. Uh, we established about 12 months ago to support the work of a, a Tanzanian NGO working in East Africa and their name is Shahidi Wamaji, which is Water Witness in, in Swahili. Now, water, uh, Shahidi Wamaji was established to, as a mechanism to hold governments and donors to account for what they do on water, uh, to check out their claims, to, to basically find out what's really happening in the field uh, and, and talk truth to power at events like Stockholm Water Week. So really, to, to um, we're, we're beginning to do exciting things like uh, budget tracking uh, and social accountability monitoring yeah. um, to, to see what's happening to donor money in the water sector and to see who's winning and losing out of, uh, out of water development. Uh, we work across East Africa uh, and we recently did a project in, in South America, in Peru. Uh, and this week's been really exciting. We've made good links with the Water Integrity Network. Uh, we're beginning to work with the Freshwater Action Network, which is over 400 NGOs across Africa, uh, Asia and South America and Latin America, to basically help them um, strengthen their voice on, on accountability issues uh, and the potential that I see is, is incredible. If we can work with grassroots organisations uh, to really find out what whether uh, money is being spent well and whether uh, laws are being applied and what the barriers are, uh, we can hold this whole water sector uh, and the vested interest within it to account and we can um, deliver progress and make a contribution for the, for the world's poor. Okay, and what's the most interesting thing you've learned this week then? Um, it's not a positive thing. I've learnt, uh, it surprised me, um, I can't really talk too much about it, the level of corruption that's, 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 that exists within the water sector, uh, particularly in, in, in the awarding of some of these large donor funded contracts uh, to the large consultancies. Um, I've been a little bit shocked about some of the things I've heard. Um, and probably on, on the flip side, the positive things, um, to hear about the there's lots of nice examples of things starting to happen. For a long time, you know, progress has been fairly slow, um, and you know, events like this, you begin to meet people who, who've got little glimmers of, of, of how progress might be made. For example, um, yourselves uh, with your, your marketplace and your Aquapedia. I mean, using where IT meets development, uh, using some of the uh, IT-based reporting systems and mapping systems to to support accountability monitoring and sharing information um, and the work of the, you know, the Freshwater Action Network, so the NGOs out there, the grassroots organisations who have the ability to, to do so much are beginning to find their feet and, and get the capacity to really do that, that important job uh, and, and, and be at the table and, and, and make a, a contribution to the debate so that poor people are, are represented at these, these, these types of fora. Uh, so it's been great with a, a real opportunity to um, to hear what people are doing, you know, uh, some of them same old stuff, uh, and some of them really exciting uh, opportunities for progress. Um, and there's a lot of interest in our work uh, from the donors, from the, the multilaterals, and from the NGOs, and um, and even from the corporate sector. I mean, that's the, one of the exciting things for us is that you know the, the poor guys need exactly the same thing as as the as some of the biggest companies in the world. They need governments to actually do the job of water management, of water resource management, and to apply, uh, you know, there's not a problem with policy really. The policy's there and the laws are there. They just need to be implemented. Um, and the corporates need the same thing as the poor man in the village, or poor, poor woman in the village. Um, and for me, that's very exciting because that's a very legitimate platform with which to go to government and demand action and, uh, and accountability. Um, and it's those kinds of linkages you can make at Stockholm Water Week. Um, Excellent. Yeah. So tell me your name again and who you work with. My name is Nick Hepworth. I work with Water Witness International and Shahidi Wamaji in Tanzania.